righty. I'm always a little behind on my side, so let me know. And uh, <laughs> yeah, go. I think I think we're good on this side now. Sweet. Yep, we're all up. We're all up and ready to roll. Hey, everybody! Thanks for uh, joining us tonight. Appreciate everybody joining. Yeah, and, another uh, lovely yeah. Wednesday. Lovely Wednesday. I think it was four one three that I responded on my post earlier. Friends Wednesday. <laughs> so. Friends Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's exactly what this has turned into. I feel like exactly. Yeah. So you know, we'll do a little recap of last week. Talk about some uh, happenings in our lives as reptile stuffs going on and all that. Yeah. Midweek. Midweek mayhem. Midweek mayhem. Exactly. <laughs> We're getting, hey everybody, how are we doing? James is in here, Tavion, Brandolin. We have oh, yeah. Adam H in here. Oh, it's always good to Who's see that him. guy. We should, <laughs> we should ban that guy. Yeah. <laughs> always good to see him in here. <laughs> What's going on, Laurie? Marshall, Marshall's in here. What? Yeah, okay. We're picking up. Yeah, here we go. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, it's always fun to have everybody kind of come in so we can yeah, chat exactly. about essentially ban nothing. Ban Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> ban Hammer. Yeah. He's down there, man. He's down there right now. He's <laughs> he's chewing on his bone right now. <laughs> hey, all time. Thanks for making it today. Appreciate that. Heck yeah. Gotta love carpet pythons. Hey, what's going down? I hope everybody had a good day. My day basically was some work, and then uh, we went over to uh, my mother-in-law's, kind of helped organize the move that's taking place on uh, it was Saturday, right, Heather? Yeah, Saturday is the big day. Nice. So, yeah, sure, yeah. You know, it's good to get that stuff done. Oh, yeah, oh, absolutely. Moving exactly. so much fun. And Heather just uh, reminded me of a really good deal. Wanted to give a big shout out to Ace, Miguel's son. Uh, it's yeah. his birthday today. So happy happy birthday. birthday, Ace. If Miguel's got this on speaker where you can hear. <laughs> yeah, happy <laughs> birthday, little man. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that as post earlier. They were uh, the FaZe clan or the FaZe U clan, or I, I don't even know how to say it. Yeah, um, FaZe. Yeah. FaZe, yeah, FaZe clan. Yeah. yeah, did a shout out too. That's cool. Dude, that's super cool. Exactly. Yeah. Those guys are huge, right? I mean, big time gamers. Like all of them have like close to a million followers. Yeah, like. right. Dude, way to capitalize, man. I've been playing video games for free this entire time. You know what I yeah. mean? Little exactly. did I know I could have been getting paid just sitting around playing video games. Well, I mean, <laughs> I know they're like except they're like incredibly good at it, but I was gonna say. Know. I did some uh, Call of Duty tournaments back in the day, and and that quickly humbled me. I thought I was really good. <laughs> right, right. Well, yeah, that's the other thing. <laughs> Is there's that? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure I would be terrible, but I mean, maybe even being terrible, I could make something out of it. Yeah, hey, you know exactly. You got to put a little spin on it. Class. <laughs> exactly. They got to have somebody to beat up on, you know. Right, so exactly. They, you don't want to just watch all the winners all day. <laughs> you got to have a loser in there to make the winner look good. I could be that guy. I think you found a little niche and, you know, capitalize, <laughs> buddy, capitalize. Oh, man. Riley, hey, what up, man? Thanks for making it. Heck yeah. Yep. DA Exotics, Tavian. Man, we got the whole crew tonight. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, we got 17, 18 people. I think, uh, I uh, just wanted to, you know, maybe officially start here. So uh, I'm Adam from Beach Bum Exotics, repping the KB Reptiles wear. My, just yeah. fresh, fresh out of the mail today. So. No way. That's a freshie, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks Appreciate nice. That. Exactly. And turn it over to my co-host over there. <laughs> All right. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, Joel, obviously, from State Board of Exotics. We're pumped to have everybody here. Uh, you know, we usually do these Wednesday roundups to kind of make the announcement for our next guest. And then so in the meantime, everybody gets to kind of listen to us sit here and talk about nothing, just in case anybody's new to the stream right now. But, um, yeah, we kind of had a cool week. We uh, our, our last interview last week was Garrett from Reach Out Reptiles, and I feel like he just gave us a 
feeding almost mentally on on the amount of information he put out there about the super dwarfs and the dwarf retics. You know, that was a cool, cool interview for us, I feel like. Dude, yeah, that was a crash course in super dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, lots of good info. So if anybody didn't make it, uh, it's available on my YouTube channel to go re-listen to while you're cleaning snake tubs or what. Yeah. And arguably, I feel like that's like one of the best episodes to just listen to like a couple times. You know, that that was that was a good, I feel like just informative. So many things were out there. Like it would be like, you know, rewatching like a thriller movie. You're going to catch something new every time. I feel very like true. after listen to that, you know, very, very crazy. So that was fun. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see, you got anything new in uh, your world with uh, reptiles or? Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I, you know, when we had, we had KB reptiles on here, you know, what was that two weeks, two, three weeks ago, roughly? So yeah, I guess we're four now, I guess. Four now, yeah. Splits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, uh, we were talking about, you know, my, you know, season's running late and, you know, kind of getting worried about not getting eggs and all that stuff, but. You know, I had, I had uh, two ovulations this week. So it was just like a complete, just like 180 from what I have been seeing. So that's pretty cool. You know, awesome. super, super pumped on that. And I think I have, I think I missed my clown girl's ovulation. And I think she's in ready to lay. I think, I think she might be ready to lay. I think she, the last shed I thought was her pre-avi shed uh -huh. um and so she shed out but she's humongous and she's just sitting on the heat just with her tail underneath and she was kind laying of upside down the other oh, day yeah. and i was just like okay so i had to have missed your operation like i had to have just completely missed it right um so you know we'll see you know i'm pretty excited have have one first time mom uh that pastel highway oh right. so She's a That's she's awesome. a offset pied. I bred her to a yellow belly pied, so that would be crazy if that yeah. proved out. And that's cool. All the offspring then will be a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully I hit, you know, uh, you know, a couple pastel highway head pieds in that case. Yeah. Something like that. I really uh, like that project when I saw those results posted earlier of the highway pied stuff. Like Yeah, I really like the highway pieds. I think they're really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of one of those you know, real high hopes of, all right, I hope it really keeps some of that cool pattern and color right. and then just yeah. makes it a pied, you know, right? because you never know. Sometimes pied's really strong in things and can. Yeah, dude, it crushes yeah. some things, man. It crushes yeah. it. So, you know, that's the, that's the dance you play with pieds. I feel like getting that, that down, you know, finding those combos. But completely agree. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. What about you? Um, yeah, so let's see. I had a, a clutch drop from my snow. Um, dude, the girl that, that dropped the clutch this year, so she's been back-to-back -back breeding three years in a row, and I actually was going to give her this year off, but right. she gained all of her pre-lay weight back plus about 500 additional grams. I mean, Yeah, she was ready then. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah, she's yeah, huge. That's a, huge. yeah that, that's a solid recovery. Exactly. So I was just kind of like, well, I think you're showing me like, all right, you could do this again. Um, so she she laid nine eggs total, eight good ones with one slug. And nice. that was bred to my uh, front, uh, snow mail. So everything's going to be albino or snows. Right. No normals. No normals. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. And then, uh, so yeah, that one's fun. And then I'm going to put the rest, my snow project for a couple of years, I think after this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of, kind of put her on hold. Yeah. I'm going to give her a year or two off and just let her chill. Um, she's my second ball Python that I ever owned. So she's got a special place that. Right. Yeah. That's so cool. yeah, just let her chill and, um, yep. So. Yeah. I, you know, and I, I like that idea, like doing that and like giving, you know, giving these girls some time off, you know, rather yeah. than just like, uh, you know, a mill, basically a ball python mill. So I, I really do like that idea. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm not, you know, maybe 
I'm sure like if you watch the signs of your girls close enough, you'll see the ones that just want to go and the other ones that don't. But, you know, I just kind of think giving them a rest is important sometimes. I think they're gaining some nutritional things back in them that we may not see just by weight gain, you know? Right, um, right. So, yeah. And then her first year, she gave me, I think she was at 11 eggs, I think, or something like that. Wow. Her very first yeah, year. And then second year she gave me a little less and then i think she gave me only six or seven eggs second year and then this year it was back up to nine back up egg, right thing. yeah eight being good so. yeah that's cool that's a salt that's solid i mean anything over i feel like anything over seven eggs is great <laughs> you know like six eggs anything over that that's yeah that's yeah much like. i mean she's big she's she's yeah. um, pushing 30 800 almost 4,000 grams i think yeah. right yeah that's um, cool yeah definitely i see some hot topics going on in chat and definitely not ignoring those right now i think uh it may be yeah maybe interesting to bring some of that up but uh i don't know joel we've got 26 or so watching right now um and we're about 12 minutes in you want to go through the announcement for yeah the yeah, yeah sure, sure. Yeah, so I mean, we uh, we scheduled up the interview for next week, and we have our first repeat um, by popular demand. I feel like everybody like this, you know, is one of the more exciting people. Not that everybody's not exciting, but you know, this is like a you know really cool uh, individual that knows quite a bit in our hobby. Um, so we have lined up again, uh, Justin Kabelka from JKR, obviously. So, and I feel like he has wait you know, who. To do. Who? Uh, JKR. Oh, uh, I think I've heard of him new. before. Oh, wait, he's we new. had him on our channel. Yeah, he's been on our <laughs> channel before, but he's he's new to it. Um, so, but first, he knows a lot, seemingly, or he has us all fooled. So, uh, either way, it doesn't matter in the end, I guess, if you're fooled or he actually doesn't know, you know. But <laughs> yeah, no, it, yeah, I'm I'm pumped to have him on there. Um, that'll be on my channel next wednesday and uh you know we gotta we gotta put him through the ringer i feel like he's already been on here with us once uh he's kind of seen the flow he's seen our chat he's got everything kind of going and now i feel like we can get really specific on what we want to know from him instead of you know maybe focusing on like morphs or something like that maybe we can kind of nail him down on yeah like some really you know intricate conversations that i i know he he's craving to talk about you know Oh, for yeah. sure. And we can totally skip the whole, you know, how you got started question this time. Right. Week, right. And just jump in right into the meat and potatoes. So yeah, exactly. All the good stuff. Yeah. Um, so that'll be cool. Yeah. And bringing up Justin, you know, I want to mention again, um, Chase, uh, like the reptile community, everybody's support. So amazing. I, I can't believe how quickly all of us pulled together to support a member in the community like, you know, everybody has for Chase. But things are still ongoing. Um, the auction site still up and running. The, there are snakes being posted on there, I believe, still. Um, I, I think I checked yesterday. I, I hadn't had an opportunity today. But uh, there's also the GoFundMe. Um, there's sh shirts available on Justin's website that all 100% of the proceeds go to support Chase. So, uh, yeah, yeah, everybody check it out, man. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. The, the, uh, the GoFundMe account, I, I was looking at that, the, you know, a few days ago, and it's over $100,000. And and that, like, that is just, I feel like, such a testament to us as a community. I don't, I don't know many communities that would, I feel like, rally together in a matter of a week and put up that much money for somebody that, you know, a lot of people don't know him, you know, or exactly. you know, never even met him and, and they're, you know, contributing. So that's just, that's so cool, man. That's cool. Super cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, it, that's over 10 times the initial goal that they put right. on, right. on there. You know, I mean, that, that truly is amazing. So, yeah. 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 And everybody, you know, best wishes and prayers still going to Chase to Absolutely. Keep the fight strong. Um, Got a long, long road. Yep. Long road. Yeah, exactly. But it'll be good. So, 135K yeah. right now. Holy cow. Wow. 
Yeah. Thanks, Jason, That's for that awesome. update. I hadn't realized that uh, that was the number. That is absolutely amazing. So, that is fantastic, man. That's 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 such cool news. That's cool. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really neat. Yeah, it touches my heart, you know, to see that. You know what I mean? Like it's God, just yeah, that's crazy. Hmm. Yeah. That's always been, you know, when in any of those auctions though, I feel like, you know, the US ARC auctions and stuff like that. And anytime there's a, I feel like somebody in the reptile community that like needs our help or something, you know, I feel like the the donation for that particular moment is always like the biggest donation for the entire, you know, auction. And it's, yeah. you know, so I love that. Me too. Really cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. When they, when they always bring up those items and they're like, okay, this is for this specific donation. You just see everybody go crazy. Yeah. It's, it's very cool, man. Yeah, yeah, it is. And then dude, did you see Justin's kind of, you know, shifting gears a little bit? Did you see Justin's post with the, the banana Pompeii? <laughs> no, I didn't. Post? Is that what that was? I yeah. saw it was in the egg, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I didn't know that was a banana Pompeii. Insane, right? I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was. Got it. You got me second guessing myself. I, I saw the post and I was like, wow, that's insane. And then I, I didn't even read the description because I just assume whatever it is, is just like, eh, you know, okay. <laughs> Enough internet for me today. <laughs> now I'm going to have to go, uh, go double check. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It was a beauty, though. Holy cow, man. Yeah, Pompeii Coral Clue. Dude, this thing, the, the oranges and just the tones and the purples, blowing it away. Which blows my mind because I think there's an argument to be said that there, once you, it's like banana is such, banana is one of those strong genes, banana coral glow. It's one of those strong genes that can yeah. kind of overpower any other trait. And so a lot of times I feel like almost coral glow or banana gets you into a, a dead end kind of thing. Um, and that just shows you that there is no dead end. <laughs> That's for sure. Right. Oh, Derek. Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll check that out. Yeah. Derek was talking about a, a different program, maybe to run through this or it wouldn't be the delay between the chat uh, and the, yeah. the live stream. There, yeah, there are a few applications that we could probably probably use. Um, I mean, Joel and I were kind of talking about that right before we got started. I'd like to get a microphone set up myself. So, I mean, if anybody out there is watching that's like a sound guy or or knows yeah. um, AV and sound equipment, well, that could maybe help guide me on which purchase I should make on Amazon without breaking the bank type of thing. Uh, that would be cool. Um, yeah, yeah, I would love to get a real mic kind of set up and kind of yeah. just clarify the sound. Because, um, you know, there's there's not a whole lot I feel like we can do, like when the streams are getting fuzzy and stuff like that. But at least if the sound was great, um, nobody really wants to see our faces anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, and Jason's saying, tired of Justin uh, driving up the, <laughs> the cost. <laughs> um, right. Uh, yeah, Josh has a kind of a cool question. The Coral Glow Banana the same or the Desert Ghost Enhancer? I don't uh, I don't think I really have the authority to, to say it, <laughs> that. It, what, I don't know. I mean, to me, Coral Glow and Banana are the same thing. You know, and I and I saw Ozzy say that uh, yesterday on, yeah. on one of his Instagram posts. Well, I'll pose the question like this, right? If you breed the two together and you produce a super form that looks the same if you bred each line together, then is it the same, right? Like, right. you get what I'm saying, right? Right, yeah. So, like, we know they're genetically compatible. They produce a super if you breed the two lines together. Right. You know? I mean, and then if you look back at the history of when both of them were released um you know there's stories that they were both sent into the u.s around the exact same time just two yep. different people bought them um anyhow i don't know i i i think that they're the same personally yeah I yeah, yeah. I, I think that's, it, that's how i look at it yeah exactly and then some people will say like coral glow holds more oranges banana is like a lighter i've seen examples from both that contradict that you know, and in all honesty, I think if you took a mixed bag and threw them all in there and then dumped them out on a table and had somebody try and ID them. 
I don't yeah. think, yeah, I think it would be really tough to, yeah. to differentiate those snakes. Yeah. I really do too. But and in the end, that's how I kind of feel about it. If, if I can't differentiate it, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I think, and, yeah. you know, and the, the more important thing really is to look at how each, each gene is interacting with other genes. And so right. if, you know, if you can accomplish the project that you're trying to work on, and it happens to be a banana that you run across, I don't really think, like, I wouldn't go, oh, I definitely don't want that snake. I'm going to wait until I see the brand name Coral Glow. Right, you know, right. If it's going to do what I want in the project, then that's, that's you know. Right. I mean, so. Yeah, I agree to that. Yeah. Yeah, and like Derek pointed out, there's other genes out there that, you know, are super similar and they interact with each other and produce supers and stuff. So. Yeah. 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 I think the confusion, you know, acid, acid complex is probably pretty similar as well. Yeah. Um, I don't think enough been done yet to know. Yeah. But. And I don't know the background of those two. Me neither. More yeah. Well enough to really kind of say definitively you know but yeah i've have heard through breedings they're doing similar things and react together so yeah clark was just saying garrick from uh rural constrictors said they're the same yesterday too yeah i mean that's that if, through my experience i would completely agree and that's what i that's what i tell people as yeah well. i mean you can breed them both together and get a super banana or a super coral glow right you know, you know. right yeah. both pretty I really look yeah. at it. <laughs> I like them. You know, yeah. the color change that they go through into adulthood is very interesting. They change massively from how they look. They, from yeah. To adult, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they still are a beautiful snake. Even in their adult form, there's a palette that like uh, other morphs don't kind of go towards. So if you're aware of the color change and you're thinking of that into adulthood and something that you like, cool like all my banana leopard stuff i love it into adulthood it gets crazy spotty and yeah i was gonna say the leopards uh the leopards and the banana i feel like make really spotted uh snakes as they age yeah it's really cool kind of like cinnamon You're right yeah cinnamon too yeah. yeah i feel like it's anything that enhances that like purple to it yeah yeah definitely and then uh man a few people had brought up brian's video earlier yeah like, did you watch bar checks uh, i haven't watched it i can assume though that he's talking about uh racks not being good well yeah i mean so he was wanting i think the main purpose of that video was to open a dialogue about like the benefits and maybe some of, you know, the pros and cons of, of doing either or setup, right? Right. You know, rack systems and other things and just kind of opening that dialogue instead of having it be like such a mean spirited conversation. Yeah, no, it's through you. Racks are better. Yeah. <laughs> right. And after a yeah. certain point, emotion just kind of takes hold of people and you never get anything productive when it's like that, you know? So I, I, that was my main takeaway on it. But I think that he was mo most definitely hinting on him shifting away from rack systems and going more of naturalistic or larger enclosures, right? right. But, you know, <clears throat> in the video, he even admits he's not sure what, what that means yet or how he would implement something like that. And I think yeah. that that's what the discussion maybe needs to be around is like, all right, Maybe there is a happy medium in between that, you know, can be reached. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I know that through my kind of experience, I have not really seen any health, um, adverse health effects from keeping my snakes in racks. Whereas I know in tanks, I had more difficulties achieving, like, the right humidity range. and um, Right you know, providing kind of like what the snake would consider as a secure environment, you know, and so I noticed more feeding issues and um, stuff like that for myself. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, personally, I'd, I would, I don't think I'd ever keep 
uh, a ball python in an aquarium style tank anymore. Um, yeah. I, th I think that, yeah, I think it would be awesome though if I had, instead of a wall of racks, I had a wall of terrariums, you know, just aesthetically like coming into that room, it would be so much prettier and like cool. unique, yeah. you know? Yeah. And like, I would enjoy that more. Um, and that was kind of some of the stuff that Garrett was talking about too, you know, with like the differentiation between the reptile world and the aquarium world. Whereas, you know, you get your clownfish and then it's really cool to make the tank awesome. Right. Instead of, you know, like getting the awesome snake and then putting it in a rack or something like that, you know? And yeah. so it, it's, it's a happy medium though, between function and practicality, you know? Yeah. So it's, you know, what can you do? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, Heather kind of wants me to do a video like of my thoughts on on the whole thing kind of also. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I, I completely agree. Right. There's, you know, there's purposes. Anyhow, without getting too much into it, I totally agree with you. Right. Yeah. You have yeah. To look at it. And like Harrison was saying, like Brian was really pointing out that he he doesn't get excited about opening a tub anymore. And he repeated that multiple times during the video. He gets excited when he's looking at like the reptarium and going through, yeah. that, you know, and yeah, of course, like you were yeah, saying, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Like if I, if I could like make my whole house, some, you know, sanitary and safe way for myself where I got to look at cool animals. All the time. Right. I mean, that yeah, would be like, sick, you know? Obviously that would be yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know, but, and yeah, yeah, I think certain animals would do really well in that, you know, and everybody needs their privacy. That's one of the larger things with these animals. So. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, so if anybody hasn't seen that video, I think it's worth a watch. Um, and I think Brian, I, I, I like Brian, right? I, I support Brian. I Me don't too, think yeah. that he has ever maliciously done anything to harm these animals i think he's always had the animal's best interest at hand right and and you know he's learned a lot throughout the years and he continues to learn and that's what his main message is too is let's all continue to learn right you know? yeah so. there there isn't i i feel like sticking to like the black and white that this is how you do it uh doesn't allow for any evolution and it doesn't allow for any progress you know thinking like that so i love that i love that idea because yeah i want to be better tomorrow than i was today and so on and so forth you know so right like yeah exactly if nobody's open to new ideas then you just stay static you know what i'm saying and, mm -hmm. and you know and stagnant and that's just yeah that's not good you got to be progressing yeah. forward you know and that's through open dialogue without becoming hostile or letting emotions take over <laughs> like, yeah uh you know yeah. i don't want to get too far into the whole social media thing but that's one of the things that kind of keeps me out of some of those conversations is because yeah absolutely uh, why even engage with somebody if they're you know yeah yeah they're gonna get upset or mad or angry or you know name yeah. call you know yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, James yeah. does point out James. <laughs> setup for a ball python would be boring. It's just a termite mound. <laughs> that would be kind of cool, you know. You bring people over, be like, "This is my termite mound. There is a snake that lives in it, but this is my termite." Mound. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it never leaves, um, but this is my termite mound. <laughs> this is my termite. You you'll rarely see the snake. <laughs> <laughs> it could be like a sand garden, though. You could really get in there, get different yeah. colors, you know? You could, yeah. Zen garden. Is, that's what I was going to say. Isn't You could put a little rake out for the ball python. Absolutely. You could come yeah. through. <laughs> yeah. kind rake of your termite mound <laughs> every day. <laughs> I, I like where we're headed, actually. I like the direction we're headed in that. <laughs> I mean, that would calm me days. down every morning. Come in, rake my termite mound. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah, the scale spins and feathers says, you know, it totally depends on species. And yeah, and I, I completely 100% agree with that, right? There's not a cookie cutter that can fit everything in it and all of it goes into that shape. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's the fun yeah. part about keeping these animals, right? Is learning about them and, 
mastering the husbandry aspect of of keeping these animals because they most of the animals we keep don't come from the areas we live in right so we have to create an environment that this animal will thrive in that's our responsibility as keepers right number one um yeah so a lot and we need to leave out a lot of our human emotions when we try and accomplish some of those goals they they get in the way yeah what we think is good isn't necessarily good not always right you know yeah (laughs) <laughs> that's true uh heather heather asked if anybody's ever eaten termites dude that was crazy so that you was actually really termite? cool yeah 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 when we were in belize it was awesome so we um we went on a zip lining tour at this really cool area in belize and part of the walking tour the guy like saw this log and he goes okay he goes who's ever eaten termites and everyone's like no shaking their head that's a bunch of gringos from from up north basically and so he puts them on his hand he goes okay you just take them pop them in your mouth chew them and he goes it's kind of like menthol and that's exactly like you popped it in your mouth and it was like a mentholated flavor (laughs) so it wasn't bad and they had like a little crunchy pop to it like I don't know. <laughs> I, and so what? so th- yeah so um the natives down there back in the day used to um like they'd be out working all day and they maybe didn't have like a great food source so they would get these termites and if you ate a handful of them so probably i don't know about 20 of them it would be the equivalent of like drinking an energy drink for you like they really? give you super energy yeah and they're really? loaded with a bunch of <laughs> nutrients in there right. so your body actually gets something too right that's crazy <laughs> yeah they weren't bad at all man but, yeah that's, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> that's interesting yeah well i mean there's that whole other side of like you know instead of raising cows raising crickets you know mm-hmm. because per pound they're more nutrient rich than you know a cow or something like that i'm i'm totally down to eat a cricket burger I'm, right I'm down right to do it. yeah so i i think that's that's you know that's a and how easy is it to raise crickets <laughs> exactly super easy harrison's no longer sharing beers with me anymore <laughs> oh. Harrison, like, I've eaten way worse things than termites, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're already tainted, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Dude, too late, man. Too late. <laughs> hey, Oliver. Oh, yeah, man. Oliver's here. Yeah. <laughs> <This channel's laughs> girl. Absolutely. That's pretty much, that's how Wednesdays go. When that, it's just yeah, that. this is how Wednesdays go. <laughs> We could. I could spend twenty minutes talking about gross things I've eaten. <laughs> I've lived some weird places in my life. <laughs> yeah, you have actually. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, menthol smokers. Ball pythons are closer to menthol smokers. <laughs> yeah, those those menthol cigarettes. Oh man. Yeah. I think we should uh, remind everybody who. The guest is next week for any new people that have joined. Yeah. Yeah. So next week, uh, there's the interview with our first repeat, uh, JKR, over on my channel. That's uh, Justin Koblaka, Koblaka, How do you? Koblaka? No, that's like, I don't think it's Koblaka. Yeah. Chupacabra, not Chupa, Chupacabra. Not Chupacabra. Yeah, Chupacabra of all pythons. I think so. Chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Justin Kabilka. Yes. Yeah. So, right. so that yeah. way he doesn't get mad at me when he joins. So. Right. I know. Right. <laughs> yeah. No. So that'll be cool. Uh, so bring your. Uh, yeah. What is it? Kobilka. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Derek Cobra has. Kai. Wait, Cobra Kai. Who? Who's watched the second season of? Cobra Kai on uh, YouTube. YouTube. I I have not. I'm failing at life yeah. right now. Sorry. Yeah. I had to derail for a second. <laughs> Squirrel, man. Squirrel. Here we are. This is it. This is it. No, Justin will be awesome. Can't wait to have him back again. So we can yeah. kind of, as we were talking about earlier, we can skip that beginning. You know, how do you decide that you wanted to sell ball pythons? 
um, and we can get right into the meat uh, and get him get him pinned down on some tricky questions. So yeah, exactly. I, I got a couple in mind that I'm pretty excited to ask him, and I I'd love to hear his insight on it. So yeah, pretty- me too. Hey, did you watch him and Miguel's like uh, Q and A kind of thing? Yeah, the investment thing. Yeah, I thought it was really good. And, yeah. um, I posted a couple questions for their follow up. Hopefully, they'll get to them. And I didn't want to post too many because I was like, wait a second. Yeah, we, we have, have a stream coming up with Justin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't be wasting your questions on them. All right. <laughs> oh man, Heather said chat's asking what's the weirdest thing I've eaten. <laughs> squirrel actually come to think of uh, it right i have eaten squirrel yeah, yeah um, right. uh let's see dog i've eaten that's kind of weird wow, that's a weird uh, one yeah who hasn't though if you've been to not, a- my, not my dog and it wasn't in the united states so okay. it wasn't <laughs> uh, Is it, was it in asia it was yes in the south pacific out in the philippines so yeah it was good. I would do it again. <laughs> yeah, they got some solid meat on them, man. Uh, let's see. June bugs. Yeah. Um, they have a variety of them over there in the Philippines, too. Um, let's see. What else? Balut, uh, which is a Filipino delicacy that they uh, duck eggs. They let them fertilize the duck egg. And then they mature it to about 20-ish days, and you boil that, and then you eat all the stuff inside. That's, that sounds terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like chicken noodle soup in a, in a <laughs> shell. And then you have beer with it. It's, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're drinking, I guess, you know, anything will be good at a certain point. I said serpent tech just I'm just caused a PR nightmare for himself. <laughs> <laughs> right. No man, I mean PETA PETA doesn't exist in the Philippines. Everything was totally fine. So, no. <laughs> I think they're worldwide actually, just joking. So Yeah, I don't think I don't think they stopped just here. No, no, I'm joking, but uh, keep hammer away from Adam. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah holy cow who would have thought yeah well over there like it's very traditional during birthday time that they'll uh serve dog um right. kind of old school you know filipino i mean i lived out in the sticks out there like but like really really far away um, yeah from stuff so a lot of old traditions were still followed out in places that i live yeah yeah hey you know i mean yeah. when, when you when you can't go to walmart uh you know things are different i guess when in rome when yeah. in rome man yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait who's who's with me is it the k or the b that's what i need right? to know is this is <laughs> oh heather keeps bringing up stuff about my philip philippines living i don't want to bore everybody with that stuff <laughs> oh, man. Cool, that's yeah that had to be a unique experience it most definitely was. Yeah, it was good. Well, if anybody sees me at a reptile show and we're chilling at, you know, after getting drinks or something, I got fun. Yeah. Stories, I'll tell you then. There you go. Yeah. So when when's your next reptile show then? Uh, let's see. It's the one coming up. Oh, shoot. We just missed the one that was down in Costa Mesa. Just uh, conflicts with uh, stuff. Um, man, I can't remember when the next one is. Is I don't think it's August. I think we have another one coming up. We have, uh, yeah, Barros, hell yeah. That's what I like to see. <laughs> um, yeah, we have uh, the Super Show in San Diego in July. Yes, yeah, July. You're right. Yeah, and then Pomona is August after, so. Yeah, those will be exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I, wanna, I, wanna, I think are the next ones, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think those will probably be my next two that I go to. So excited for that! Yeah. yeah, he's got the he's got the uh, KB shirt on. <laughs> Harrison wants to know if the insect eating helps with facial hair. <laughs> Asking for, for, I don't know. You know, my my grandpa. So this is when I was a kid. I'll just make this one quick. It was really funny. I was probably about seven or eight when he started this tradition with me. He would crack two eggs into a glass. 
Mm. And he would always go to the the butcher, bef- like first thing in the morning around 5 a.m., get a fresh steak round into meat, t- take it home. And our breakfast was raw meat with lemon, salt and pepper on it and two eggs in a glass with a, with a half a grapefruit. That was for like the first, like I ate that for probably six years in a row, almost every oh, day. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I, I used to do, I used to do raw eggs quite a bit, but I've never done raw ground beef. <laughs> so yeah. you have to make sure that you have, you put the plenty of lemon on it. Right. Cause it, it right. Kind of it cures it. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. That does make sense. So yeah, bugs, I don't know, Harrison. It's either the raw beef or the bugs. I think I had the hair before I went to the Philippines. So. Try Harrison, try both. Get back to us. Yes. And let us know what worked. Yeah. Let's do That's uh nice. I think we should do a YouTube challenge, which uh which grows more hair. Right. And Harrison should start this one off. Yeah, and he should actually, he should just take care of that for the next six, seven months. He should try to get that for us. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, in September, then we have Canada coming up. Or we get the- I would love to go to Daytona. When is Daytona, Dale? Uh, yeah, when is Daytona? I, I forget when that one is, too. Yeah, the White Plains show, that would be a cool one. Yep. I think it's August uh, 17th and 18th. Reptiles Breeder Expo. Yeah. August 17th and 18th. Uh, that not that the same time as Pomona then? It, yeah, I think it's right around the same time. Let's see when. Uh... Middle of August. Uh, August 10th. So we could be hardcore. We could do Max. <laughs> yeah, hardcore. You hit Pomona and then you fly out to Daytona. Yeah. Just, yeah. Take I could just movie. fly from California. Yeah. With you guys yeah. to Daytona. To Daytona. That yeah. sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Shouldn't be expensive either. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Nah. What's money these days? Yeah, it doesn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> You just keep you keep charging it. All all you need is credit. You don't need money. You just need credit. Yeah, exactly. Just credit <laughs> everything. It's like that's like free money. I think, right? It is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and Tyler, we're trying. Uh, that's the plan. CRBE. That'd be fun. That'd be real fun. That one definitely is on the book. Heather yeah. and I are already looking at um, kind of what our plan is because we've never been up to that you know, part of the North American continent before, including some of the American states up in there and then obviously up into Canada. So we kind of wanted to make it a whole little touring thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So we're already planning that. So that's on the books for sure. Yeah. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. And then, um, yeah. So Carrie Barros, we, uh, we need to pull up with you guys and talk, and then Will, if Will Moros is out there, I didn't see him tonight. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, there, that would be cool. Uh, Billy, obviously, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely Billy. Yeah, so meeting up with those guys. And yeah, you're, you're okay, that Aren't you? You're down for that one, right, Joel? That's, yeah, that's my plan, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, I'll have anything really going on. So I'll uh, definitely do that. Yeah. And then after that is uh, Timley. And then we'll yeah, get- Timley. Yeah, so we'll go um, July, uh, the San Diego show, and then Pomona, Daytona, Canada, Timley. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. I'm going to need to find a sponsor, I think. Yeah, yeah, we need to <laughs> we need to figure this out a little bit, actually, as it turns out. As it turns out. Yeah. Uh, exactly. No, you just you don't have to pay the credit card bills. You just have bad credit after that. Oh. That's how that works. Yeah. Well, yeah. You only it's need to do it for a year. So 
It's an investment. Think of the investment. <laughs> in myself. Yeah. I'm investing in myself. <laughs> uh, well, I did I did play the lottery again tonight, so uh, there's a good chance I'm gonna win, I think. Remember remember the small people in your life. Yeah, no, yeah. So we'll do a reptile tour. Uh, we just won't stop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, Bye. And uh yep, and so I don't want to drag this out too much longer, so yeah. Uh, next week over on Joel's channel, we have a repeat customer, Mr. JKR himself. So make sure everybody yeah. tunes in. That'll be regular time schedule, everything 6 p.m. Pacific time, but on Joel's channel. Yep. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Bring your questions, um, yeah. and make them great. You know, make, make, make some deep questions. I know that guy likes to talk about them. Make those questions great again, right? <laughs> make those questions great <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's gonna be uh, MQMA. I like it. I can yeah. see how it's yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, I guess uh, you know. I guess we can kind of wrap it up. Get everybody out there. Yeah, definitely. We've been uh, stalling long enough. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I really, really appreciate everybody joining tonight. Fun conversation as always in chat. Remember, eat your bugs and other weird things to get beard yeah, and, and by by Chris Graham's beard oil. Yeah, thereafter. <laughs> and look at this. And yeah. then as with a t-shirt announcement, Heather just reminded me, thank you. I have my t-shirts coming in as well. They are shipped and should be here by Friday. So um, there we go. If you're interested in any of them, hit me up. And then right around Friday, I'm gonna my uh, online store is gonna go live as well uh, with uh, uh, some additional colors. And then once the uh, current colors that I bought sell out, then those colors will be available to order cool. as well. That's a cool deal. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Excited for that. That'll be cool. All righty. Well, right Thanks. on, everybody. Well, yeah. Thank you, guys. See you next week. Yep. Definitely. See everybody. Thanks, Genomic Labs and everybody else. Harrison, Brindlin. Thank you, guys, again. Have a good night. See you, guys.